We've got some questions, even in the midst of the ice and snow that have been coming in our My Two Cents at TBN.TV mailbox. So if you want to uh, dig through the snow and find those questions, we'll take them now. Oh, the mailman delivered, as he faithfully does, in the ice, sleet, snow, whatever. Well, Gayla Banks says, Governor Huckabee, I'm so glad to be receiving your daily newsletter. Your observations and views of current issues regarding Trump and the corrupt powers in government are greatly appreciated. I don't know if you addressed the lengthy video many of us have seen and sent on about Mike Lindell's reveal of voter fraud proof. I'm not aware of any responsible assessment of how accurate it is and what ramifications will happen, if any. The video sounded so compelling and convincing, which I find hard to understand it being dismissed. Thank you for being a beacon of light for Americans who have a strong moral compass. Well, I appreciate your kind words. I have seen the video. Uh, I I think that there's a lot of uh, compelling arguments there for uh, some voter irregularities. And, and the whole point has been, I can't tell whether or not there's been enough to would have swung the election the other way. I don't know whether there is uh, criminal activity, but there is enough question marks that have been placed on the election and how it was handled and how votes were tabulated, that it would be in everyone's best interest, including the Democrats' best interest, to do a full-scale review, audit, and investigation of exactly how the ballots were counted accounted for? Were there any issues, whether people may have been voting uh, more than once? All of that we need to know. And I appreciate Mike Lindell for at least uh, trying to assemble a lot of that uh, uh, maybe video footage and question marks. And whether or not it's all true, I simply don't know. But it brings up enough questions that I think we all deserve some better answers than we have been getting from a lot of public officials. Well, Sally Evans from Scott City, Kansas. Now that the Democrats have made impeaching someone for non-criminal acts the new norm, do you think Republicans will or should impeach Biden-Harris if we take back Congress in 2022? I I doubt they will for a couple of reasons. One, Republicans historically uh, just aren't that mean. I know some people will say, oh, yeah, they are. But we don't have a history of, of doing that kind of thing. We play tough. We play hard. We play to win. Uh, But quite frankly, Republicans rarely use the power of their offices uh, to just go after the other side for petty purposes. They may do it for policy. They may push through a court nominee. But I can't remember a time when Republicans just decided to go and impeach somebody. Um, Even with Bill Clinton, they did an impeachment. There were Democrats who voted for it. But the bigger question was he had lied under oath, and that was obvious something he even admitted to doing. I just doubt that'll happen. And quite frankly, I don't think it's good for the country if it were to become the new norm. I hope it doesn't. Well, Joe Martin from Portland, Maine, there is a sense that family dynasties in politics can be either very good or very bad. What will you do to help make sure the next Arkansas governor stays on the good side of that fork? Well, I think she's uh, probably on her way to to being on the good side. Of course, we're speaking about my daughter, Sarah, who has announced her run for governor of Arkansas, a job I once held, a job she knows fairly well, having grown up in the governor's mansion uh, when she was uh, much younger than she is now. Um, Whether it's a dynasty, don't really know that that would be the case, but I think she would come with a level of preparation having lived in the the really realm of the governor's office of Arkansas in a way that very few people uh, would have that opportunity. So will I be supporting her? Oh, you can count on that. Will I be giving her advice? Even if she doesn't want it, of course I will. You bet I will. Wait, don't click that button. Well, unless it was the subscribe button and then carry on. And while you're down there, hit that little notification bell too. Oh, and if you leave a like and a comment, I will personally give my dog Toby a treat. (laughs) Leave a like, feed a dog, as I always say.